good morning everybody. So I thought I'd introduce this video of a little bit of back history. Let's go over here away from these people. Yeah, a little bit of back history. You've seen the title, How They Ruined Oldham. And I'm going to show you how they ruined Oldham. So for those of you who probably maybe haven't seen any other videos that I do on the channel, I want to talk to you about the history of Oldham. So on the face of it, if you look at Oldham now, you'd be forgiven for thinking, and there's ice here on the floor everyone, so let me just make sure I don't smash my head open on the floor. Yeah, you'd be forgiven for thinking that it's a down and out town, there's a lot of hardship here, rah, rah, rah. But historically Oldham has a lot to shout about and it used to be in the buildings that um, that we had in the town. We used to be able to show how prosperous the town was because we had such fantastic, beautiful buildings, similar to the Lyceum over there in the distance. But anyhow, Oldham was the world's leading cotton town for cotton manufacturing back in the 1800s and into the 1900s. It was also, it also had, should I say, the largest manufacturer of cotton, cotton making machinery in the world and that was Platt Brothers which employed, I think it was 12 or 13,000 people in the town, so a massive amount of people in the town considering the fact back then the population of the town wasn't anywhere near as big as what it is now. I think it was, on average, I think it was about 100,000. So, you know. But anyway, I wanted to, uh, I wanted to show you, um, all than what it was, what it did look like, moving pictures, <laughs> and what it looks like now. I'm actually just approaching the arch that was built by Abraham Crompton. The old Sunday school, it wasn't an arch, it was a, an old Sunday school. But that's gone, you know, I was thinking to myself, it's amazing how I've been doing this channel probably, what, three years now, showing Oldham's history. And it, I tell you what, I could come into Oldham and I could do a video before and after for the stuff that they've knocked down and ruined. So, let's get to the first bit of video. Right, so we're going to start our time travelling on Union Street. So um, in the distance there on the left hand side, you can see it poking up, that's the job centre. But what once stood there was the Cat's Whiskers, which prior to being Cat's Whiskers, very famous nightclub in Oldham, it was an old picture house. And I'm going to show you footage now of what it looked like in 1940. everybody you've just seen the first comparison hold on before and afterwards now the footage that you were looking at just then in that clip is from the year 1949 so what happened in 1949 is Oldham as a metropolitan borough uh, celebrated its first hundred years so it was formulated in 1849 and of course celebrated in 1949 hundred years and I imagine if Oldham is still around in 2049, which there's no reason why it shouldn't be. Just going up George Street now, by the way. The chapel on George Street, which is that building just there, is the world's oldest uh, Methodist chapel, I think. Or certainly the oldest surviving Methodist chapel, they claim. Anyway, um, so yeah, in 1949, there was a massive amount of celebration going on in the town. And... Um, things were going on. There was a book written which charted the what they say is progress, and I think it probably was back then. I'm not saying it is anymore. They've actually blocked friggin' Joy Street off. Can you believe that? I wonder if there's a way to get round. So, I think this is a bit of a joke. I'm gonna have to walk all the bleeding way around. But West Street, what a friggin' nightmare. Oh, actually, where's that girl just come from? Oh, you might be able to get round. So, yes, as I was saying, in 1949, there was all sorts going on. There was the book, there was filming, which is what you're looking at today. 
and there was also celebrations around the borough. Now, there's Alexander Park footage that I'm going to be utilising at some point, probably in the summer. And uh, yeah, there's a lot to show you. So let's get up to the top and let's look at our next bit of Oldham from 1949 and what it looks like today. Right, everybody, we've made our way up past the Civic Centre and we've gone in front of Home Bargains. This building here, the black and white one, very old. It's got some beautiful old, car old wood carvings in the front of it. I ask you to look at it the next time you're in Oldham. We're going to pan down Market Street now. Market Street is the old, one of the oldest streets in Oldham. Uh, Market Street, because these market stalls, as you can see, there's still some traders on there now. But I would like to say that I do feel the footage that you're about to see coming up is a vast improvement on what we've got today. Little bit of a break everybody before we go to our next stop so you see these stones here i quite like them actually i don't see them as a problem but loads of people have been kicking off about them saying it's a complete waste of taxpayers money especially when we've got the country's going through what it's going through at the moment but i think the other thing people need to recognize is i mean they're trying to make it nice um they've planted some trees the other thing we need to remember is, you know, we, we still need a nice environment to live. I suppose we're trying the best. Um, and I don't see it as an ISO. That's my opinion. So let's get to our next stop, everybody. Right, everyone. So now we're looking down in front of the, old, well, what's soon to be the demolished old market hall. It will not be a market hall to replace it. This is it. This is the final. This is done. Um, I think you'll be fascinated to see the difference between this and what was before in 1949. Let me know what you think. Yeah, I think. Huh? You don't think 